Hi everyone, this is Trisha, and I'm back again today with another watercolor project for you. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this flowering bird bath. I was inspired by one of my neighbors who had this nice old bird bath and they had flowers spilling out of it, so I thought I could create that with, with my watercolor markers and my stamps. And I'll show you how to do that. So first I'm going to take the bird bath and I'm going to, I'm going to ink it up with some sepia. I left a few open spots on the top of that bird bath you'll see when I stamp it down just so that my flowers would or my foliage would kind of peek out and look like it's spilling out. So I stamped this in the bottom third of my page of my watercolor paper and I'm just going to start pulling the color out of the lines. And I'm starting where I want the color to be the darkest so that would be along the sides and under the lip of that bird bath. I'm not using a ton of water even though it kind of looks like it the way my the light of my camera or my my lights are hitting the water the angle of my camera it kind of looks like it's really wet but it's not really wet I'm just using a damp brush and pull the color right underneath that that pedestal because that would be the darkest and along the sides of that of the bottom and then along the sides of the base. And I'm just softening those lines and keeping, making sure to keep a highlight in the middle. Now you see I'm just adding some more water in the middle of that because I felt like it was getting a little dark so I just wanted to put some more to put a little bit more water to soften it out. Now I'm going to come in with a little bit of sepia on my palette and I'm just going to darken up some of those areas along the sides so that they're really really dark and I wanted to do this before I stamped anything in because it's really hard once you stamp the foliage to come back in and darken up that that pedestal or that, that bath part because your flowers are going to spill out so I just decided I was going to do that beforehand before I start adding my flowers and my foliage. So I'm using the vine from the foliage set one. This is the classic vine that I use all the time. And I'm just inking it up with some olive green. And I'm stamping it several times here and there so that it looks like the vines are coming out, spilling out over the side of that bird bath. This is a great way to get some, some more use out of your stamps, to use them in different ways. And I love any chance I can, any chance I can get to use my stamps, I will, I will use it and do it because I think that I get more use out of them and it makes it, the money that I spend on them, it just makes it more worth it. And these little stamps are so versatile. You really can do so much with them. I challenge you to think outside the box and look at your stamps in a different way and think of how you could use them and really stretch them. So I'm just coming in and I'm touching those leaves, softening them out. And bringing the color, even though if the green's on my brush, then I'm going to use it and I'm going to stamp it. Even if there's no lines there, I'm going to kind of go outside of where I stamped just to give it a lot, a little more fullness. Now I'm going to come in with this. This is one of my favorite flowers from the new Flower 3 set. It's just such a great flower set and I'm not going to ink it up. I'm not going to ink the bottom of that because I want it to sit in, in with those vines and it's kind of long so I didn't want it to be too high. So I'm inking the stems up with the olive green and then I'm coming in with some orange and I'm inking up the blooms. And I'm going to stamp them right in the middle of that of all those greens and I'm going to stamp them a few times. So I'll stamp it once, twice, three times and then I tried to get a couple more. The more you get in there the more depth you're going to create. Orange is a really light color. I was trying to keep this really, really on the lighter side. 
So here's the other one. It's they're almost the same flower. They're just going one's going towards the left and one's going towards the right. And again, I'm not inking it all the way up. And now I'm adding some magenta to those blooms and I'll stamp them on either side of those orange blooms. And I'm going to do them a few times too, kind of mixing them in with the orange just so I get a really nice bouquet. The orange and the pink really look great together. Now I'm going to come in with some water and I'm, I'm not going to touch the greens, I'm really just going to touch the blooms. And I'm not, not being too careful to touch the orange ones and then the pink ones, I'm just kind of touching them all with a little bit of water. It just brings the color right out. Now I'll finish, it up, finish up the magenta ones and you'll see me, I'll add a couple of more even though there's no flowers there, I'll just bring them out, create my own little flowers. And that's good. So now what you want to do is you want to make sure this little birdhouse or this bird bath is kind of floating out there right now. So I want to make sure that I anchor it down. So I'm going to use the little the little grasses from the original foliage set. And I'm going to ink that up with the olive green. I love the olive green. I love the colors in it. And I'm just walking this out right underneath the base of that bird bath. So you can ink it and then go to the right, ink it to the left. If you jump it around in the front, it'll kind of look, I kind of made it so that it was kind of like on a little hill. And you don't have to go very far, just right underneath. You don't have to go all the way to the edge of the paper. This is just a watercolor painting so you don't have to really go crazy with trying to fill up the whole page. And then I'm pulling the a little bit of color from the bottoms and then run, running my brush underneath to bring some of that color in and give a little shadow. So now I'm taking, there's this little stamp, this little flower stamp from the mini flower set. It's so cute. And I'm inking it up with the olive green and then some violet. And I'll just stamp it a couple times on each side of my little bird bath. And then I'll come in with just a damp brush and just touch those blooms. They're really small, so you really don't need a lot of water. And just soften them out a little bit. And I, I grabbed a little bit of the purple and just extended those flowers out a bit. Just so they look like there's a bunch of them in the background. And that's... I'm just going to take a little bit more of the sepia on my palette and come in and darken those those areas right underneath, create a little bit of shadows just to darken them up a little bit. I'm just kind of, as you notice, I'm pausing and then I'm kind of looking where, to, where I think there might need a little bit more. I decided I got a little too much there so I put a little bit more water there just to kind of pull some of that color back up. Yeah. And then used my my trusty paper towel to pull some of that color back out so that it kind of felt like I lost a little bit of that highlight. And now I'm putting some blue on my palette and I'm just going to go in and create a little bit of a sky behind this. So I'll put some clean clear water down and then I'll come in and add add the color to the water to the water that I've already laid down. That'll give a nice soft look to the to the clouds up in the up behind this little this little painting. I'm just jumping my brush around. I'm going to take some more clean clear water and soften those edges right out. You don't have to come to, it's just the hint of a sky. You don't have to come too close to the edges. I liked the look of that really dark area in the front. It, it reminded me of just big puffy clouds behind it. So now I'm just trying to soften that out. I was trying not to get too close to those flowers. And 
and I liked how it how it kind of just faded out and then I added some water just to soften it and then pick some of that color back up with my with my paper towel that that will create some look of some clouds behind when you put the color down and then you use your paper towel it just creates a, a really nice sky look and that was it now I'm just gonna sign and date it and our project is complete so thank you so much for joining me I hope you guys will upload your photos and in, to Instagram and tag us with the AI watercolor and I hope you have a great weekend thanks so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time